this says home sweet home it's very cute and there's a blue color it's by the candles Caroline bum, bum, bum. Good times <laughs> never been so good. So good. So, so good. good. So good. I don't know whether I should get one or not because they are five dollars. There is baby nursery scent by Watson. And butterfly flower. I like those candles. Oh, oh. Autumn colors. I think we better grab that one. And garden mint. That would be nice in the summertime. Anyone need a tea towel that says Alexa feed my kids with a little frill on the bottom? Oh, and the watermelon. Hello, summer, summer's over. What does this one say? Christmas ones. Oh yeah, there's Christmas ones already. And you know what? They're nice. They're nice quality. What's that one? Oh, it has... Nine hounds, ten fleas, eleven labs, twelve leashes tugging. Oh, that's, that's twelve dogs at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that one is. Seven. Oh, well, that's the one. Some of the ears are serving. Yeah, that's a drinking one. <laughs> twelve snobs are snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Those are funny. How They're much slippery. are they? Should say on the tag. It doesn't. Hmm. There's a pack of 100% uh, cotton dishcloths for four twenty-five. I knit my own. No price on those. Okay. Well, what's that one say? Oh, it's not pretty for Christmas. I have enough uh, towels. Yeah, there's no price on them. <laughs> These ones are good. This is what I use. You can get them in blues, grays, gray and blue and red, and the browns are nice. These are new. Keep bags stable while you're driving for four dollars. Dollarama has some uh, Halloween pillows, five dollars each. There's that one. There's that one. And the boo. And that one again. And look at these pretty uh, flowers. Yeah. Lots of garland there. And put the leaves on it. We're down the uh, fall section. They got cute little uh, washcloths. Uh, trays that say harvest blessings. Look at this tray. Happy Thanksgiving. That is really nice. <laughs> lazy bones. I think we have enough lazy bones around our house. Me included to that. This is $5. That is really nice. I can make stuff like that. They have uh, pumpkins here. Thankful and blessed. And this cute little guy popping out. These are uh, salt and pepper shakers for $4.75. And I think I'm gonna take a pack of these. Oh, there's two different designs, but I like that one with the pumpkins. Halloween costumes for your dog. You could have a wiener or a popcorn. <laughs> or a butterfly. A ladybug. Or a ladybug. A oh, that one's cute up there. That'd be cute on uh, Rosie. Rosie and this one for Max. <laughs> oh, and they got little handkerchiefs to put around jailbird, their neck. Yeah, that's what I said. Piggy. Jailbird Max. Oh, for Piggy. Oh yeah, we could put one of those on. We could put one of those on Molly. <laughs> Flannel back tablecloths. These are nice. Who? Molly, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a cute little napkins. They're black and they say boo. Does this puppy remind you of anybody? I know it's probably a dachshund, but it sure does look like ours. It's a mesh dog gate. 
Iris would jump right through that in a heartbeat. Yeah. Oh, look, they got cute little harnesses. I just saw this too. It's the magic show. It's five dollars. It's for eight eight plus. Um, how to become a magician? Oh, that's a great Christmas present right there. And then down here. Oh, that's just the back of it. Yeah. What's Sean looking at? Oh yeah, I remember those. <laughs> Sean's being a child over here. They got green and pink. Who remembers the whoopee cushion? I see. I have no arm strength. It's my mind not doing anything to it. <laughs> Look at oh, this guy. He's funny looking. Oh, these are cute. The little uh, toys where you pop them one face and then into another. The dog. Oh my goodness. This is $5. A squeezy, shaggy dog. Look, he can't see. There's that game that I got. Sheets Creek. We haven't played it yet. We haven't played our Sheets Creek yet. The game I bought. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. How's everybody doing today? So Sean and I are sitting here Sunday afternoon on a drizzly day recording um a few videos together that's why we're dressed the same <laughs> not by by accident really he had a shower got dressed i went in and had a shower got dressed and the two of us always end up in the same color of clothing so we had just recorded part of this dollarama haul and it, it stopped recording so we're just starting over fresh this is what we got so this was Two big shops, one I went in on my own, the other one was both of us going in. So the one I'm showing you now is when I went in on my own. So first item, liquid Drano. I believe it was $4. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've noticed some of our drains in the kitchen here are a little not draining the way they should be. So I'm just going to get some of that down, down the sinks. And so there's that. And then I was surprised to find these bounty bars for $2 each. Of course, Caroline's going to buy two because I love me some bounty. Favorite. Oh, it is my favorite. Yeah. Anything with chocolates are favorite. That's right. <laughs> oh, there's my receipt. So, Miss uh, Onyx has been jumping in our bathtub and ripping our uh, shower curtain. So, I grabbed another one. And hopefully she will not rip this one. This one's nice, so it's got a nice pattern on it. And it was $4. It's got like a leafy pattern. I like a clear curtain in the bath or, you know, in the shower because uh, most places we've lived in, the light that the, we didn't have a light over the in the bath area. So having a clear one just brightens it up in there for you. These are new. What? <laughs> I have to watch this now to see what you're doing. These are new. Um, there was three aprons in here. And uh, it says, personalized with iron on transfers, letters, and more. So they're blank. Uh, they're three pieces. So we pulled one out in the video that didn't record. So I got to make sure that it stays on. But they're a fair good size. They're 100% cotton. Mm -hmm. So I did try one on. And uh, I'm going to... They're made in India. I'm not sure how long we're going to start receiving stuff from India. But yeah, <laughs> it, this is nice. You're and um, be <laughs> <laughs> It's nice and it sits above my knee. Love it. So I've got three, oh, let me sit down again. I've got three uh, aprons to personalize and decorate and maybe send off to some Christmas presents or whatever yeah. I'm going to do she, with them. And she's already made me one. I have made him one. Check I made I made him one for when he was outside barbecuing. Yeah. I love barbecue. Once you put my meat in your mouth, 
You're going you're... to want to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the apron I made for him. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, is this PG content? <laughs> No, because it's all about your steak that you're barbecuing. Oh, <laughs> that's I, the meat. I, I thought that the adults, that's the meat I'm talking about. Some of the adults might be like childish. Yeah, so if you are crafty, have a cricket, or you have some iron-on uh, uh, decals, whatever, these are worth buying. They're nice. Now, when I did read it, it's 100% uh, cotton. They will shrink, so you can wash them hand wash in cold water. So I just throw it in the washing machine. Uh, do not bleach, a line dry, warm iron if needed, made in India, 100% cotton. So yeah, if you throw those in the wash and dryer, they will shrink and then maybe they'll be kitty size. So there was that. So my craft room is all organized, but when I see these, I like to grab them. It's hard to find the pink. They were $4 each, and what I'm gonna do is, um, the two shelving that I have behind my chair, I'm going to put these on the bottom and the middle shelves, and I'm going to get my Cricut and label what's in it, and it's gonna look nice and uniform sitting behind me. I'm gonna put the stuff that I tend to use a lot in that area, because I do have shelving in my closet with these in it. So yeah, I'm just gonna, do that i got one more thing to finish for my room my picture behind the chair and i'll give you guys a craft room office review you know i just noticed these were five dollars each i think when i bought all the others they were four dollars thanks dollarama it costs more money to ship it by ship it does which was this a dollar fifty I bought this little um, file folder, pocket thing. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna buy pink. These come in handy when I'm putting away some important papers and stuff. I like to file stuff in something like that. So it's not for Sean because he wouldn't use it. Nope. <laughs> uh, we bought two flags at a dollar. I should just keep my glasses on. A yeah. dollar, mm -hmm. sorry, they were four twenty-five each. They're the jumbo ones yeah. with the metal grommets, so. And for God's sakes, China, make a better quality flag. Yeah, these like, are suck. very, very thin. It blows in the wind and it rips. You know what, we would be better to just go buy a, a more expensive one. one and it's not going to. The United States has a law that it's not an official flag unless it's made in the continental U.S. of A. Yeah, so Canada, come on. Yep. The thing is, even buying an expensive one, it's still gonna get ruined in our weather, our winters that we have Eventually, here. Eventually, but Eventually, not, not yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've seen people buying these. I'm on, you know, the Facebook groups and uh, Instagram and people are always hauling, you know, showing stuff what they've done with it. So people were buying this little fabric storage rack and putting the likes of those on it, on the little shelves. Well, I'm going to use this in the closet for the animals because we have one closet that's dedicated to them. I've got a three-tier shelf in there right now, so it's the dogs, uh, the cat, and the bottom one is for Molly. The birds are just on the floor right now, so I just want some more extra storage in there for their treats and whatnot, because little uh, Molly gets treats as well. She should be getting a, a subscription box soon, because I think it was four months ago when I did that. Okay. I should have done a before and after, but this is the cupboard and it's a double door uh, cupboard where I keep all the animal stuff. So here we go, it's organized. So I had this, um, this tray from Ikea and there's the new one all built up. So those big bags of food were on the floor and it was very hard to, to get at. I had to bend over all the time. So now I've got all their food up top. So we've got cat food. She's well stocked. We got to go buy more puppy food. 
Um, this one is for the senior chihuahuas. This is Molly's food. She gets um, piggy food there. See a little piggy on it. And uh, down here is some grain for her. That's just a tub of the chihuahuas food. The doggy dailies are for the senior chihuahuas. And then that was just another little feeder for the birds. And I don't really have much down there. And then I put all of my bird feed over here. This is so much better for me. Uh, treats. This is how many treats um, the big boys have. This one is for the chihuahuas. We're stocked. Uh, the next shelf down is cat stuff. She's got a few treats in there. We need to get a little tray. Another little pink tray. Um, there's catnip and treats in here. And she definitely does not need catnip. She's a black wild crazy cat if you ask me. And this row is for um, Molly the pig. So those are the, or the Cheerios that Sean brought back from the States for her. And these are all her little oink box treats that she got from her subscription box. I mean, most of it's not finished. Like we're down to the, down to the crumbs off her, her, uh, super food mix. So hopefully her new subscription box is coming in soon. And then I'll get another little basket and we'll put her Cheerios in it. Down here is all my bath stuff. Uh, there's shampoo, there's sprays, there's a few collars and harnesses in there. Some scrubbies, uh, there's a brush. Just, just some leftover stuff. Uh, these were grooming wipes. I think I got those in her subscription box. Oh, I can't get that back in, but, and then this one was for when we had Balik, our senior chihuahua. She did use puppy pads. She couldn't hold her bladder. And uh, I had bought those diapers for her, but she was not keeping them on. No way. So we got a full box still, a package, but that's okay. We'll hang on to them in case we need them. So I am super pleased with my organization here. I'm going to take that out and we don't probably don't need that. All right. Ooh. Oh, and then I've got my bag up here. <laughs> I'm only talking to my dog today. These two bags are full of Chihuahua clothes because you got to keep your Chihuahuas warm in the winter. Yeah. So there we go. We are organized and Caroline doesn't have to bend down to get dog food or cat food or um, once I could, I could move some of this up maybe and put, you know, the bird food up too, but it's going to be good. This is what having a lot of animals looks like. And what are my boys doing? You know, mama's got the treat cupboard open, so we have the RJ here and, uh, the other Muppet is behind me. Or did you just come in from the rain? So thanks. This is a big win, Dollarama. I thought, oh, this is so cheap when we were putting it together. But it, the baskets aren't that heavy, so it's perfect. So we're going to close this up before... Um, oh, he found something. There's his uh, brother. What are you two up to? I would just go... Just wanted to show you that. There's nothing in the corner there because I swept the floor before I put my cabinet in. <laughs> out of our closet. Yeah, but you're gonna get your own. Mm, yeah, you can get your own closet, clothes. Then. You can get the broom closet. closet. <laughs> I wanted more of these and I found them. I was happy. Now I bought only one here. I I think there's three in the other bag. So these are going to be for keeping my flour and stuff in. They were $5 each. Again, when I bought them, because over there I've got, we got tea bags in them. We got hot chocolate, sugar, cookies. Uh, these are really good for all of that. But we did not pay $5. So these have gone up in price too. Yeah. But this is what I keep my flour in now. And I've had it in this for years in these bins. This works well too. But... I think it would look much nicer in here and it won't take up as much shelf space. 
yeah. having it in that as opposed to these, you know, I my my flower is getting down and look at how much cupboard space this thing takes. Got high security. Yeah. It's got chocolate in it. She's got a camera on it. And it says, <laughs> Sean, do not touch. <laughs> yep. See what I got to live with? <laughs> I sure. There's coffee crisp over there you can have. Oh, yeah, you don't like that. <laughs> no, I like that's, it once in a while, yeah, but yeah. That's the only one you can turn. <laughs> and look at this book that I found. I just love it for the look of it. I can just sit it on something with something sitting on top of it. But this is David Copperfield's History of Magic. I used to watch him all the time. This book was $5. An illustrated, illuminating, and insightful look into the world of illusion from the world's greatest and most successful magician, capturing its audacious and audacious, audacious and Inventive, inventive practitioner. I'm reading and <laughs> showcasing the art form's most famous artifacts housed at David Copperfield's secret museum. Oh. And it's got lots of pictures. Where is it? If it's a secret museum, where is it? It's a secret. It's a secret. Yeah. OJ, who was the dude that was on about the same time as the amazing Kreskin that used to do that stuff? Yeah. No, we won't back in time. Hmm. And why are you asking OJ? Why can't you ask the whole audience? Well, why do you think OJ would know the answer? Because he's older and that's what <laughs> he's do. older. He's older and he knows stuff like that. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I hope he does. Well, Don't let me down. Let's hope OJ answers Sean's question. Anyways, yeah, yeah this is yeah. this is nice. I like how it is. There he is. Copperfield himself. <laughs> All right, so I bought that $5, it's on the back. Yeah. Now, this book would have sold for a lot more than $5, but in a bookstore. Makes me wonder why, oh, this one's kind of damaged. I probably oh. damaged it in the bank. There you oh, go. And don't say Harry Houdini. <laughs> Harry, I was gonna say Houdini. Oh my goodness. Last thing that I purchased on my little shop was a Halloween decor. And I love skulls, so this one will be going uh, on my display shelving that Sean's going to build for me later today. <laughs> Isn't this cute? And it lights up, so you just got to pull the little tab out. Always make sure when you're buying light up things in Dollarama that the tag is still there because if people pull it out, and then if you play them with it, the batteries are going to die. <laughs> I love this. What are you doing? He doesn't need a scar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually excited to decorate. I love Halloween, so I'm excited to decorate it for Halloween. It's gonna but be first, awesome. we won't get any kids, but it's going to be awesome. No, it's going to be awesome because we love Halloween. <laughs> so, how much was that? There's no price. Well, I know it says Hall figurine, so four seventy five. I know it wasn't free. No, it was four seventy five for that. Well, hello there. Because it says oh. Hall figurine. The <gasps> Hall is short for Halloween. What? Yeah, so that's all what? from that what? haul. What? But let's jump what? into the one where Sean and I went in together. Seriously. And I don't know where that receipt will be. But anyways, let's get into that. Do I know you? Here you go. We bought these guys. Tortillas, I love just putting salsa, cheese, stick it in the microwave, and you get a nice, uh, a nice little snack. Am I getting help here, please? Come on. No, I would, but I'm Come people. on, we have to show this. I found another one of these for Sean. Um, he looks so smart in it when he goes out. So it's the exact same one as the one he has. $5 for a beautiful golf shirt style uh shirt yeah so there you go these are not to be worn to work or working outside and sean spotted these for me look these ones are pink and fur inside so i can slip these on if i just need to run out to the chickens or something and i did get the size um seven that i wear 
and uh, they're calling them clogs, and they were five dollars. Okay, can't put those on the All table. Right. Bad luck. Let's put them down here. It's not on the table. It's on the placemat. This is a big bag, so let's get through it. I bought two blackberry pure leaf teas. I love this. There's two. I believe they're two dollars each. I I like these in the cupboard too. I I grew up on these. I think they're awesome. The only thing that's wrong with them is after you open the can, you um, when you're pulling it back or when you're scooping out because it's it's really packed in the can, the rice. I tend to cut myself on the top of it, but it doesn't stop me from buying it. It's the dainty rice. This one is chicken flavor. So I bought chicken. Don't lick my and I bought Chinese. What? Chinese. I don't have my receipt here. When I get down to it, I'll uh, tell you. We are stocking up our pantry again now. So I found uh, the French's brown gravy, and this one is 25% less sodium. And it was two for a dollar twenty-five, I believe, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, so we got two of the brown gravy. Always look for that blue label because that's the less salt. And this one was herb brown gravy. So we haven't had this one before. Two for 125, they are going in the cupboard. These were on in there too, so I grabbed them. Tomato and basil. Then I grabbed two of those. Like I said, I don't have prices. Um, we have doggy Tic Tacs. They, yeah, they do. I think there is some mint things in there. Good, because you need one. Okay, let's get through this hole, please. Please. These are 50 count baking cups for $1.50. They're fall. Look at, see the plaid on this one? I love that. And the other one has the pumpkins, and there's the maple leaf and the egg corn. So yeah, dollar fifty for those. I bought another paintbrush. Uh, I like this angled one, two seventy five. I just threw the other one out because it was a mess. But I needed this <laughs> to do my touch ups on the coop, and I still have the door to paint. What else? Oh, and I have a few bits that I need to paint black. So frame. that's what that's for. And part of the door frame. Yeah. It wasn't there when you part of the door frame, yeah. Painted it before. No. Look at this. It says thankful. I hope I didn't already buy this. But it was cute and I seen it and I grabbed it. Two dollars. Yeah. I was talking about the shelving. First I'm gonna start off with fall. I don't remember that. No, I'm fall in the pumpkins and then I'm going to bring in the Halloween later in October. I bought these classic chicken noodle soup, but you'll see in another video that I also stocked up on soups. But these are handy for Sean to have on his shelf in the in the truck, especially in the winter time. Um, be prepared, guys. Have a case of water and what else? Your coffee if you need it or your tea and cans of soup. If you're stuck out in a snowstorm and you can't leave for, we've been stranded for two days at a time. At least you got something to eat. And we have, we do have a microwave. We've actually even fed other drivers. Yes, we have. They, they didn't have anything and I fed them. That's right. Oh, that's because when I was trucking, I would cook um, a full meal in the crock pot so if anybody what you know didn't have anything to eat, I had it here. Take it, take it. Yeah, yeah. So I another three of those because we're gonna transfer all my flour out of those bins. You can have those bins out in the garage then. So that was twenty dollars just to buy four of those, but they're gonna be much better for me. I bought this. New pasta, but how would you say that? Fusilli. Fusilli. Italian pasta, and it's um, it's from from Italy, with cheese sauce. That looks really good. 
I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, cook this with some broccoli and chicken, and that would be a nice meal. I don't know how much I paid. Oh, it's right there. Oh, this has got Dollarama sticker on it, $1.75. This is gonna be something that they carry all the time then. That looks delicious. And I bought the other one that's penne with spicy tomato sauce. So that'd be a nice side dish with, uh, what do I usually serve when I'm doing the pesto penne? Chicken. Chicken, yeah. So there you go. I have no idea where my receipt went, so I can't tell you There's the prices. There's one on the Florida closet. Oh, could you grab that? Is it Costco? Or Costco. <laughs> Is it Dollarama? <laughs> We're almost done, folks. It's good so I can get all this put away. I've had it sitting in here for a while. Did you find it? Is it Dollarama? Yay, it's Dollarama. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what else we got. I love St. Hubert barbecue sauce. And does this not look like it's gonna be St. Hubert? It just says uh, Gordon Blue. Cordon Bleu. Cordon Bleu. It looks like it's going to be like, oh my God. If it is, I'm going to. It is. It says it on the. No, can. it doesn't. Yeah, it does. You show me where. You look while I look these things up. Give it to me when I don't have any glasses. So the Campbell soup were $2.50 each. $2.50 each. And the Catalini it's right there. sauce. Okay. No, it doesn't say it. It says it there. That's French. We'll go to the other side. The other side doesn't have that. I think it is. If it is, oh my goodness. Well, I'm pretty sure it says it on I'm there. I'm going to be pretty happy. It just says heat and serve. And this is all the trademark mm -hmm. uh, employee license. There's no St. Hubert on it. I don't know if they can use I've that seen name. It on it. Anyways, <laughs> the Catalini sauce. These were two fifty each. So I grabbed two of those. I was surprised to see that in um, in Dollarama. Those those you know were a dollar seventy five. What else did I not price? Okay, and then we stocked up on this again. We like this, and it's like I said before. This jam is really good and it's a product of Egypt. And the jam was $2.25 each. They do only have strawberry, strawberry or the marmalade. So I like both. The marmalade is my go-to. Those were $2.25 each. They're gonna go in the pantry as well. So our pantry is filling up. There's another food item here, but Sean picked it out. I'm afraid to try it. Are you back? <laughs> it doesn't say it. Cardinal no. Blue International. Yeah, but it doesn't say. I don't think they can Cardinal use. Cardinal Blue at .ca. Made in Anjou, Quebec. Yeah. But that's where St. Hubert comes from. So I'm pretty yeah. sure I love. I'm pretty sure it's St. Hubert. I thought I seen it. Yeah. That. Swiss Chalet is my favorite. And I'm happy that they went back to the old sauce. The new one that they were serving was too spicy. They've gone back to the old sauce. But if I could get St. Hubert, I would choose that over Swiss Chalet. Yes. I love that sauce. In 1933. Anyways. How much was that? That was uh, gravy. Polo shirt, five. Hold on a sec. I can't read my own receipt. Polo shirt, $4. Wow. I thought the price on it was. Canada flags for $4.25. Do, do, did you get to the kampusha yet? No, we're doing that now because you're going to open it and we're going to try it. Um, we've been watching some YouTubers and they, uh, 
drink this kombucha. This apparently is a uh, beverage from Kenya. Yeah, it's organic live tea. Um, it says rose deliciously sparky. What? I don't know. I'm afraid to um, try it. Kombucha tea is a handcrafted and fermented organic raw kombucha brewed with rich ingredients. Surprised there's no it's supposed to be it. good for you, but ugh. anyway, Sean's gonna open it and we're gonna take a sip. But before we do that, let me show them this. And that drink, I don't even see it in here either. I bought this beautiful, uh, I love puppies. And I bought this, I can drink out of it up until Remembrance Day. Isn't it beautiful? It's it's deep too. It was $3. Oh, it says drink cold and stirred, not shaken. Yeah. I think they are James Bond. And this was my last item. I'm gonna put a candle in it. It says home sweet home, and I can put this out year round. How sweet is that? It's a product of Poland. And this was $5. Well, people are making their own kombucha, but I don't know. Okay, open it up so we can try it. Usually when it's fermented, it means it's got alcohol. No, it doesn't have alcohol in it. Oh, so that candy sauce was only a dollar. It tastes like pickle juice. Oh. $1.50 for that, the sauce. Try it. Try How it. How much was this? I don't know, but it could go down to sink just as easily. <laughs> it tastes like pickles. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, that's horrible. That's going down. That's like medicine. I know. It's and like, we paid two dollars for that. It's like Blech. pickles. It tastes Gross. Like, like Emptying the pickles jar and drinking the pickle juice. If you like kombucha, you can buy it at Dollarama for two dollars. Yeah. Blech. Anyways, that is the end of our haul. Blech. It's so horrible. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, it was just saying my battery's like dying again. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. I need to go get a drink. Oh, I'm having kombucha, a pizza. Three bucks. Anybody? Two dollars. Trying to sell it here. Oh, <laughs> you're selling an opened one for three? Yep. Do you want some watermelon? Because, oh my God, I've got to eat know. something. <laughs> it's like, wow. Anyways, that is our haul. The one receipt, the first of part of it, my little haul, was $61.25 with tax. The bigger haul where Sean and I went in was $100.55. So $160 um, because, well, that tastes so much better, because uh, Dollarama has upped all their prices. Uh, do you want another sip? So <laughs> you're almost better to go into a department store. I'm not a big fan of Walmart, but I bet you you could go in there and find the stuff a lot cheaper, right? Mm -hmm. If they're going to keep putting prices up. This tastes better than that. Mm, that's horrible. Ooh. <laughs> all right thanks for taking some time out of your day to watch our video i hope you enjoyed it and my crazy husband that i have to put up with and we will catch you all on my next video bye for now Toodles. <laughs> all right we're off to put this away she's not talking about me <laughs> <laughs> bye everyone caroline Bum, bum, bum. Good times never mean so good. So good.